to this special edition of the Balancing Act. I'm Olga Villaverde. And I'm Christina Nicholson. It's back to school time, so we've got lots of parenting solutions. That's right. We're joined by our forever freckled sisters, Carrie Greenberg, kids fashion stylist, and pediatrician Dr. Katie Friedman. And we all have our coffee. Olga and I will be doing a taste test in just a few minutes, but ladies, feel free to sip now. Love the coffee, Carrie. You're going to be giving us some fashionable advice when it comes to selecting glasses for our children. That's right. It's all about expressing their personality. Mm -hmm. And my little ones are six and three, so unfortunately, I know a little something about lice. Oh. Ugh, but Katie, I'm sure you've seen your fair share, right? Yes, unfortunately, as a pediatrician, I do treat a lot of head lice, but there's some great treatments out there. Fantastic. Also fantastic, Chef Ingrid Hoffman. She is in the house with some teenage chefs who are putting their own twist on back-to-school recipes. Time to get an education with my lovely sous chefs here. I'm really excited for that one, but first, Olga, you and I are headed to the kitchen. Let's go, ladies, you're on your own. No worries, Olga, we got this. It all starts now. All right, so we are in the kitchen, Christine and I. More coffee here, coffee over there, coffee here. You know they're thinking about me because I love coffee. I know you do. Kickstart the day. <laughs> and you're really going to need a kickstart because as we start the school year, things are very, very hectic. So mm -hmm. we want to make sure that our mornings are smooth so we can enjoy a smooth cup of coffee in the morning. Take a look. The school year is upon us, so I am in the kitchen with some parenting food hacks designed to save you and me a little time in the morning so we can enjoy a cup of coffee while the food is all prepped. And my kids, they love helping their mom, and they're here, so let's get started. Make it visual. When your kids' lunch looks good, they're more likely to come home with an empty lunchbox and a full belly. You can do this by getting bright, colorful containers. You can also use these cutouts in the shape of a dinosaur. And then their sandwiches look like little dinosaurs. And you can do the same thing with cheese slices for their sandwiches too. Create your own ice pack. Freeze juice boxes. They will thaw out all day and be perfect for lunchtime. Plus, these serve as ice packs so your kids aren't coming home with those drippy ice packs in their lunchbox anymore. Pre-sliced apples. Cut up the apple first and then reconstruct it. Put a rubber band around it so then when they do go to eat it, the juices are still inside and the apple slices will not turn brown. Create a snack station. Keep one in the pantry and one in the refrigerator. Something I love about this is that it teaches your kids to be self-sufficient and how to learn to pack a balanced lunch. Plus, it saves me a lot of time in the morning. Make all of your peanut butter and jelly sandwiches at once. Instead of doing one every single morning, make a whole lot at one time and freeze them. These can last in the freezer for up to six weeks. And they also act as an ice pack. You can put them in the lunchbox, and then by the time lunch rolls around, they are perfect to eat. Easy, time-saving ideas that will allow you to have a smooth morning all school year long. And my reward? is my Seattle's best coffee. That's great stuff. And I gotta tell you, my daughters are actually getting a little older and they wanna start drinking coffee. And it's really important in the morning to get going with coffee and prepping the food the night before because that just makes the, the morning even smoother. I, I love that word. Smooth. It is, it's smooth just like the coffee. And it's great because that there's nothing worse than feeling all hectic and rushed in the morning. So no, we want to enjoy our coffee. This is great. And can I talk about how Seattle's best got its name? Go for it. Because I think this is so cool. So back in the 70s, there were two brothers and they wanted to craft the perfect cup of coffee. So they entered a competition and they won the title, the best coffee in Seattle. Hence, hence Seattle's, Seattle's best. best. Oh, I love that. That's <laughs> that fantastic. Cool? They tout themselves as being smooth. We said that already. Consistent, which is important. Uncomplicated. Yes, okay. and approachable. Okay, and that's good because people can relate to those kind of words. I mean, it's not just like your run-of-the-mill coffee that you can get, you know, in a hotel room. This is great. And Olga, at home, I like to drink the house blend, and that's the medium roast coffee. And there's many different kinds of flavors. You I think get. I'm having the Post, Post Alley. 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 Yes, you are having the Post Alley, which is the strong one. Oh, of course, because I need strong coffee. My husband knows that in the morning, nothing, 
nothing before coffee. <laughs> and Henry's blend is the other dark roast that you would probably also like. There you go. I love that. And you're having? I am side? having, yes, port side. This is a medium roast. And something that I like about this as well is you can have the K cup if it's just one person having the coffee, or you can have the ground coffee and serve everybody at home. And I know it's important where the beans come from. I've been to Colombia, Guatemala, and I know that's where those beans come yes. from. Latin America, right? Yes, that's really important. A hundred percent Arabica beans. That, that makes it rich, it makes it good, it makes it smooth, it makes it fabulous. It does. Premium tasting as well, because premium for our premium girls here today, right? Yes, that's right. All right, so for our viewers who'd like more information on Seattle's Best, where do they go? If you want to have smooth mornings like we are, head to seattlesbest.com or our website, thebalancingact.com. Fabulous. Nothing like a good cup of coffee. Now that I'm properly caffeinated, it's time to see what Carrie's got for us. In fact, we're talking about ways to prepare your children for success as they head back to school, specifically being able to see their work. It's really important. My girls, they started using glasses. And they're not alone. One out of four kids needs some form of vision correction. I found one online retailer who makes it easy, affordable, and stylish to find the right pair for your child. Take a look. Back to school can be expensive. You've got to buy supplies, clothes, and so much more. But what good are all those things if your child can't see the board? Eyeglasses are a much needed medical device that can ensure your child's success in school, but also an expression of individuality. But let's be honest, glasses are expensive. And when buying them for kids who are rambunctious and not the most careful, it can be money just thrown out the window. And who knows that better than Laura Morse and her adorable son, Noah. So Noah seems pretty active. So what kind of activities does he like to do? So he just finished his third season of T-ball. Um, we're going to be starting soccer in the fall. And he loves to be outdoors. My son Jax is three years old and I have one on the way. Congratulations. And neither my son, thank you. Neither my son or my nieces and nephews have ever worn eyeglasses. I know your son Noah has been wearing them for quite some time now. It's been about two and a half years. Wow. Um, we noticed that probably around one and a half that um, anytime he looked at a book or if he was on our phone or up to the TV, everything was really close up to his face. I had like a mama instinct that something yeah. wasn't right. Uh, so we booked an appointment at a pediatric ophthalmologist and immediately the doctor said, your child cannot see without glasses, he needs them. Everything has been very blurry for him. So what did that feel like as a parent to hear that? Oh, it was really upsetting. There's so many other things that it could have been, so this was an easy fix. So speaking of an easy fix, all he really needed was a pair of glasses. So what was that process for you when he first needed them? It was a great experience. He put them on for the first time and his face lit up. I think both the optician myself, we were both crying because his face like lit up. He completely like his mouth went open and he was like looking around like, oh my gosh, I can see. I can see now. Hi yeah. hey, baby, let me see. Let me see. Hi handsome boy. Can you see? It was kind of a sticker shock when we found out they were over $200 for the first pair, which was something we had to really think about, you know, with him being so young and one pair is not gonna cut it, especially with his growing face and his growing prescription and um, the durability. When looking for glasses that won't break or break the bank, I found online retailer Zenny Optical. They provide affordable eyeglasses to people all over the world and have over 2,500 styles to choose from. Comfort and durability is super important when kids are so young and getting used to wearing glasses for the first time. Zenny has flexible frames which have one single piece, they're virtually unbreakable, have zero metal parts, and an adjustable, detachable strap. I never really thought to go online to shop for glasses, so this was such an awesome benefit for us, especially as a family with three little ones. Um, the convenience of being able to shop online, giving him that one-on-one -on -one time after the younger ones go to sleep, and he's able to be part of the process. He really enjoyed that. I want those ones. <laughs> you want all of them? You want everything? <laughs> I want everything. But I don't blame you. <laughs> it's extremely user-friendly to pick out different styles, colors, and frames. You have the option of progressives, bifocals, clip-on sets, sports goggles, and even prescription sunglasses. They do have an innovative feature called UV Plus Blue Blocker Lenses that you can add to any of their styles. Those are great for me because I'm constantly on the computer, blogging, and prolonged exposure to blue light can have damaging effects on your eyes both near and long term. 
Zenny's price point is amazing. They yes. go as low as $6.95 and their average price point is about $40. Anybody, parent or not, can appreciate that kind of price point. Absolutely. Affordability can sometimes mean low quality, but I was really surprised and happy to see that when I opened the Zenny glasses, they were amazing quality. Kids these days are really conscious about how they look and you want them to go to school and be excited about their eyeglasses. I think the really great thing is that they can buy multiple pairs in different colors, different styles, and have a variety to choose from. So when they wake up in the morning, they can coordinate their outfit with the eyeglasses that they're wearing. Oh my gosh, how adorable was Noah. So cute. Okay, so where can our viewers get their glasses? Zenny.com or our website, thebalancingact.com. We'll be right back. That was fantastic, he's so cute. Okay, Dr. Katie, lice. That is the word no parent wants to hear. It's true, nobody wants to hear the word lice, but there's some great effective treatments out there. Well, let's take a look. All right, parents, so it's time for back to school. And unfortunately, you're probably not gonna get through the school year without hearing that dreaded word, lice. As a pediatrician and a mom, I know firsthand. So today, we're gonna answer all your questions, and I'm gonna give you my best tips and tricks to getting through this parenting nightmare. Hey, Dr. Katie, my kid is going into pre-K this year, and I'm worried about her getting lice. At what age do they normally start getting lice? Most of us will not make it through elementary school without some sort of drama with lice. According to the CDC, there'll be six to 12 million cases of head lice this year. That means that one in five children will be infested with head lice. Hi doctor, I'm Curtis and I actually have a three and a half year old. Uh, I would like to know who gets lice and how is it spread? If my child does get lice at school, does it mean that the school is dirty? That's such a great question. From the moment that we find out that there's a case of head lice in our class, we start to ask questions. Why didn't I know sooner? Is the classroom dirty? But I'm here to assure you that it has absolutely nothing to do with cleanliness. Anyone can get lice. Lice are transmitted primarily from direct head-to-head -head contact. This is what makes Vamoose great. Vamoose offers options for parents, not just for the offense, but also for daily defense of lice. And that includes the ability to spray a leave-in spray on your child's hair as a repellent for up to eight hours of protection during the school day. Hey, Dr. Katie. My family has had lice, and it seems like my child just keeps getting it. Why are they so hard to get rid of? That's a great question. There's two reasons why it's hard to get rid of lice. The first one is, is because you have to kill the lice and the eggs. Even if there's a few eggs that are left, they can hatch and lead to a new infestation. And two is re-exposure to lice. That's why it's so important that all the family members get checked for lice. That includes you too, mom. One of the biggest challenges for parents is finding a product that allows them to end the entire infestation the first time. This is why Vamoose is much better at taking care of an infestation. It's able to kill the lice and the eggs the first time. That saves parents from having to do a reapplication a week later. Hi, Dr. Katie. I am overwhelmed with the different options for treating lice out there. What's the best way to treat it? There are so many options and it can be confusing. And as a parent, when you find out your child has lice, you know that school is not gonna let them back in. So that means they're gonna be missing school, you're gonna be missing work, and you wanna get this cured immediately. Vamoose is also a convenient mousse format, which allows parents to get to the scalp, right where lice live, within a half inch of the scalp where the eggs are laid. This ensures that parents have good contact with the clinging mousse product that is also then easy to rinse. Hi, Dr. Katie, I'm Nicole. I have a five-year-old and I was wondering, what is super lice? Super lice has become resistant to the pesticides and the old products. Vamoose is great to kill lice or super lice because it utilizes a different technology that does not include the pesticides that they're resistant to. And that's why new products and technology like Vamoose are important for parents. There's a powder for cleaning the home, a shampoo for daily defense against lice, and a repellent for those parents who are very proactive about ensuring that any lice their child comes into contact with are effectively repelled during the school day. So you see, when your child gets lice, and believe me, it will happen, it doesn't have to be overwhelming. And back to school.
school time isn't just about moms and kids. I am so inspired today. I've got Gail and Lily here with me. These two young ladies are starting to explore their culinary skills. So I'm actually looking forward to seeing if I can learn a thing or two about you guys. So good morning, girls. Good, good morning. morning. How are you? Good. How are you? <laughs> Doing great. I love experimenting in the kitchen. Now that I'm off to college and on my own, it's nice to have a bit more freedom. <laughs> With that freedom comes doing your laundry, doing your everything. Yeah, oh, right. Welcome to adulting. <laughs> How about you? I understand that you're an amazing baker wow. and a really little top chef in the kitchen. Thank you. Um, well, you can't have cupcakes and cakes for three meals a day. That would not result well. No, that would not work well, which is why I'm gonna show you guys how to do super easy five ingredients or less recipes, stuff that you can do on the fly, on the go, in the dorm, wherever. We're gonna be doing this beautiful tomato okay. and mango mozzarella bruschetta. Do you guys know how to chop a mango? Could be better. Yeah. Could be better? Yeah. Let's do it. Let's see. <laughs> Mangoes are always, you know, you always see people trying to like peel it mm -hmm. and then cut it and guess what? It becomes a slippery slope, one that you can't win. Yep. So I always say, find your mango, look at the little, this we call the eye, touch that. Okay. It's got this little bubble over it, that is the eye. What does okay. that mean? That the pit is right behind Dead it. Center. So what we want to do is do the cheek to cheek dance. <laughs> and by that I mean we're going to cut out two cheeks. So. If the pit is right behind it, that means we go slightly off center. Okay. Okay. Right? Way Going into side. making that cheek <laughs> beautiful. This is super easy. Mm -hmm. Ideally, when you want these for a recipe like this that we're not cooking it, that you want it to look pretty because it's gonna be a bruschetta, try and find the mango like where it's not too ripe because it becomes very stringy. Okay. So the the less stringy it is, the prettier the dice will look. Mm -hmm. Now how about you scoop it out? All you have to do is put this in to go in like that All and right. keep taking it out. Perfect. And you want to be putting it in here. Juicy, it looks delicious. Juicy, Lucy, mm -hmm. yum. <laughs> now, what's nice about mango is that it's going to give you that slightly sweet, slightly tarty, mm -hmm. but it's going to add a lot of fiber to the recipe. So now, how about we mix everything up? So okay, perfect. You guys see we've got yellow tomatoes, mm -hmm. yellow, orange, whatever you want to call them. <laughs> Why don't you girls just put everything in? Go ahead. Perfect. We add some of the cilantro and some of the mini mozzarella balls, which okay. we've literally quartered. Go ahead, girls. And now we're gonna make this recipe pop. And this is gonna be very so simple. The fruity olive oil okay. and the star golden balsamic. This is what's gonna take your recipe to the next level. Sweet. And it's all you need is few ingredients, but really good quality ingredients. Yeah. And we're gonna toast the bread for about eight Perfect. to 10 minutes. So yeah. I'm gonna take that. I'm this mix this. This would be. You guys, okay. yeah, finish that off. Okay, Thank perfect. you. This would be a great recipe to make when friends come over because everyone yes, can really help putting absolutely. it together. Absolutely. Have yes. a little cooking date. <laughs> I will be making this. <laughs> now, the magic of television. We've got these. Oops, nice careful. And nice and toasty. Put them on here. Now I need you girls to start scooping those up for me. And in the meantime, I want to show you guys these other two super easy recipes. So we got the black pepper popcorn. How fun is this? Right, yeah. Delicious, great for study night, mm -hmm. uh, great for movie night, yeah. or perhaps date night. Moms, <laughs> I didn't say that out loud. And this other, this is a brilliant recipe because this is our Mediterranean bruschetta with one jar you have almost all the ingredients that you need for this beautiful caramia artichoke salad. Right in a jar, all you have to do is toast some bread, put it on, and voila, you're like a little top chef. So, how are we doing here? Great. Good. It looks delicious. It looks yeah. like we're almost ready to just drizzle some of the fruity, fruity, delicious olive oil on top. And so now we're using the same oil as a finishing oil. Mm -hmm. And that's the beauty when you're working with a versatile product of high quality. You can use it to cook, but you use it as a finishing oil. It'll just oh, yeah. marry everything together. Okay. So Guess what? Excited. Time to Time taste. To taste. <laughs> Who's going first? Oh, I Who's will. Who's on first? Let's do it. Take this one. Okay. okay. I want to taste a little bit. It smells 
scrumptious. I'll take this one and look over at the here. colors, beautiful. Wow, it's amazing. For more delicious recipes, check out Star, the ultimate trusted experts in Mediterranean food at starfinefoods.com or our website, thebalancingact.com. <laughs> Ready? What a great show. They did so fantastic. A huge thanks to Ingrid, Lily, and Gail. And of course, to our forever freckled sisters for joining us on this back to school edition of The Balancing Act. Remember to head to our website, and that's thebalancingact.com. We will see you next time.